right. What's going on, kids? This is going to be a quick one, as you could probably tell by the uh, the description of the video. We had a bit of an incident. Ah, so last night, my girlfriend's FC07, the one I did the first ride on, was stolen. Was stolen right outside my apartment building. So you know. She was definitely freaked out, super upset, and rightfully so. We called the police. So after the police arrived, it only took them about five minutes to look up uh, her license plate number, and they actually found that the person who'd stolen it went on a little joyride, had taken it on the Verrazano Bridge twice, going back and forth from, uh, or from Brooklyn into Staten Island. So they were able to capture that information. So we knew that it was stolen at that point and we knew that it hadn't been towed or anything like that. This was a, this is criminal activity. So yeah, I've just been uh, trying to get the word out on, on Instagram. If you guys haven't checked that out already, I, I put all the information on Instagram. Uh, you can see her information as well. She kind of likes to remain a little bit anonymous on the YouTube, so I won't be giving any of her information out here. But if you want, go check out my Instagram. I have all of the information, pictures of the bike and everything like that. If you want to repost, that would be great. Um, be a huge help in hopefully finding the bike. And hopefully it's in one piece. It sounds like the guy just kind of went on a joyride. So maybe he parked it and uh, the bike can be recovered at some point. That would be ideal. But yeah, so that was horrible news that we got this morning. Not exactly how you want to start off your day, finding out that your pride and joy is missing because some jerk off doesn't value other people's property. It's pretty sickening. And New York in general is in the top five in uh, motorcycle thefts in a study done a few years back. It is bad. It is bad. I always complain about the police on here, but you know what? When you need them to do actually what they're meant to do, I would feel very good about the police after that. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Look at that old Geo. I wanted one of those so bad when I was a kid. I just thought they were so cool. Because in every picture they had like a surfboard hanging out the back. I won't say anything to her, but I do love that thing. <laughs> but it just sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. And I think it serves as a reminder. I know I had definitely gotten lax in locking up my bike and doing everything that I need to do. But these guys are out there. And if they want it bad enough, even a disc lock won't stop them. They'll just pick up the bike and throw it in the back of a van or in a truck. So we really have to do whatever we can in order to keep our bike safe. Because we live in a world where it's uh, complete and utter dipshit assholes. Anyways, guys, if you guys haven't done so already, please check out my Instagram. And uh, if you live in New York or if you just want to help out, uh, please go ahead and, and share my post. Take a screenshot of it or do whatever you need to do. And yeah, hopefully we can get the bike found and uh, returned to the rightful owner. Anyways, guys, just wanted to make a really quick video just to kind of get this information out there. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are killing it. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one.